And I've, about eight years ago, you had what you described, what's being described as a eureka moment about AI sat next to Jack Ma from Alibaba, co-founder. I wish I could have the same impact on you today, Steve. Um, how is, and you're a leader in the oh, Blackstone, are a leader since then in the AI space, but how is AI going to transform, in your opinion, the broader private equity sector? Well, it, it, it warrants a, a broader look than, than just you know, the private equity sector. I mean, AI is uh, a, a, a transformative um, uh, technology, not, not just for birthday greetings uh, and other cute things that ChatGBT showed the world it, it could do, or helping one of your children get better grades uh, on their homework. Uh, th that's really sort of kindergarten level uh, with, with AI, though it did uh, catch the public imagination and, and you know, uh, got the highest, quickest adoption uh, by consumers of any technology product, nothing close. But what's happening is that AI uh, is, is um, uh, going, going to be quite transformative. Uh, the power of it, just to give you a sense, um, is, is today uh, experts would say uh, that the first chat GBT was sort of had the power of like a genius level uh, person, IQ of 180 to 200. Uh, in three to five years, that's going to have an IQ of 12,000. Not many people have an IQ of 12,000. So the question is, what are you going to do with this? And the answer is lots and lots and lots of things. Uh, and as, as you know, AI needs data and it, it basically uh, organizes that data and can access it. Uh, it, it can't think uh, yet, uh, but what it can do is, is do all the research humans would do uh, almost instantaneously. Uh, and, and if you can do those types of things, it's going to transform a lot of activity. First, um, uh, it, it'll replace uh, humans doing certain of those uh, activities because it'll do it faster and more accurately. Um, leave aside these temporary hallucinations on chat, chat GBT. Um, uh, and, and it'll also uh, be able to uh, provide guidance uh, on how to introduce new products. Uh, and um, uh, when you step back in individual fields, uh, when I started getting involved with this, um, you know, I was, uh, I'm not a technologist, I'm like a regular person. Uh, but I got briefed on this and it, it struck me as so interesting that I I got involved with uh, MIT, which is our top uh, 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 technology uh, uh, university. And, you know, the people there would say, well, in terms of medical innovation, it'll probably increase the ability f to develop new drug drugs by three to five times. Now think about, you know, your own health. Uh, if there's a huge increase over time of drugs to keep you healthier, uh, what's the impact of that uh, on society and on your lives? Uh, in education, you'll be able um, uh, in the future to have everyone have their own um, curriculum uh, and, and uh, uh, all you need is a smartphone. And this could be all over the world. This includes, you know, uh, Africa and, you know, South America and, you know, places with income levels that aren't the same as they are 
uh, here in Europe or, or the U.S. So, so what happens when you increase educational levels in a very substantial uh, uh, way? Uh, it can change the way governments uh, work because uh, governments tend not to be the most efficient uh, uh, types of organizations. And if you could, you know, sort of increase efficiency and downscale people and have them doing other things, you know, that, that, are, that are good for society, that makes a big difference. Uh, in the investment area, um, you know, AI can be used um, uh, to, to help with uh, due diligence. Um, we use it for those types of, uh, uh, of uh, functions. Um, and, you know, uh, we've, we've directed each of our companies to do a thorough look at that. Uh, I think in the future, uh, every decent-sized uh, uh, organization, whether that's private equity or not, uh, will start to have data scientists uh, and engineers because to implement AI, uh, is, it's, it's not like, you know, uh, buying a product and, and it just works. <laughs> when you try and apply it to companies, you have to re-engineer uh, their processes. Uh, so this will be uh, the actual implementation uh, of AI will be uh, much kludgier, um, not a good word for international translation, uh, uh, th th than the development of the technology itself uh, because we don't have enough engineers to do all these things yet. So it's going to change uh, uh, what happens in, you know, sort of... Um, uh, educational preparation uh, as we need people to do these uh, different uh, types of uh, functions. Um, but uh, there are whole issues on AI about, you know, sort of um, risk. And the biggest risk with AI uh, is, is, is it could empower uh, rogue states uh, in a way that, that they don't have power uh, uh, now. Uh, it can take criminals who, who tend not to be that smart. You know, that's, that's why they get caught a lot. Um, a, a criminal, you know, using AI is a much more formidable uh, uh, resource uh, than they are today. So, so everybody involved in this technology uh, that I know, certainly, uh, wants the technology to be regulated to some degree because they don't want bad outcomes and they want all these good outcomes. But ultimately, um, uh, AI is meant to be your partner. That's sort of the vision that the people who are developing it. It's not supposed to replace you it's supposed to make you more effective, faster. Uh, so if you had a partner who had an IQ that is significantly better than yours, this would be a good thing because you actually don't have to pay it and it's not your rival and, and it'll make you way better and way, way more effective uh, th than you are today. So the, so the opportunity for good outcomes real, really exists. Uh, and as an investor, you know, we're, we're now the largest um, um, developer uh, and builder of data centers uh, in the world for AI. Uh, and, um, you know, the demand for data centers, which you need, to, to process a, AI uh, is, is really completely through the roof, Brilliant. completely. And one other thing, if you ask me a question, unfortunately you get this endless answer, but there's a lot of kernels in here, uh, is, is that because of AI, as well as to some extent electric cars, the electric grids that we have, certainly in the United States and it'll come to Europe, will be inadequate 
Uh, in other words, we're going to run out of electricity. This is like a, an idea that never struck my mind. Uh, and, you know, because I grew up, you always put the lights on, everything's fine. Um, and, and these huge external demands for electricity are going to start straining the system. I mean, you won't completely run out everywhere, but, but you know, it's ready in the United States. We have certain areas that brown out. Uh, and electricity is growing about 1% a year, but as everybody wants to be electric cars and, and you want data centers, you know, the experts sort of th say it's going to be 3% uh, or maybe more. Now, that doesn't sound like a big difference until you compound it over a decade. Then you realize, geez, we're short. Uh, and, and so that's going to be another impact for, um, uh, in effect, the private equity industry. Anyhow, I'm really excited about this uh, because when everybody I know who's super smart said, you just can't imagine what's going to happen, you know, I'm naive enough to believe that people, you know, sort of at the genius level, um, they might actually be right. And so strap yourself in on this one but it's it's coming in your lifetime this is not sci-fi it's 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 going to happen you know to you so 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 don't be an ostrich you know don't put that head in the sand and say well i don't know what that is i'll i'll catch up with it you do not want to be a second mover in AI, because if somebody's already improved their company and you haven't, the improved company will be a formidable competitor much more uh, th than it is today. And you can find yourself with a mediocre investment that you thought was doing just fine. 